Hi Virgo, welcome to Carol's Universe Tarot Readings, Tarot Readings from the Heart. From the heart. Sorry, I'm, I usually appear on screen as you know, but I'm up against it at the minute. So, um, I'm just going to do your reading uh, so you see the cards, okay? Let me just fix this camera a little bit here. Ugh, there. Sorry, I'm in my onesie at the moment, not being unprofessional, but um, it's just the easiest thing for me to do at the moment. I want to just have a look at the Celtic Cross between the 16th and the 30th. It's the 15th, Dan. I really need to get you guys underway and done. Okay, so Universe Spirit, show me what's coming in for the Zodiac sign of Virgo between the 15th, 16th and the 30th of September. Show me what's coming in. What's coming in for Virgo? Show me what's coming in for Virgo. What's coming in for Virgo between the 16th and the 30th of September? Show me Virgo. Show me Virgo. What's coming in for Virgo? Show me what's coming in for Virgo between the 16th and the 30th of September. Show me. All right, so we've shuffled the deck. We're going to split it into three, collect it back up like so. And let's make a start on your reading. Right, so th this is nice. I'm really happy we got the Temperance card. Not unless it shows up with something else. Remember, the cards are influenced by whatever it is that's around them. Temperance really is about achieving that balance and that peace of mind. And that equilibrium in one's life, okay, uh, when you get the temperance energy. So temperance is a marvellous card to get when you are thinking about readjusting your diet. Or, you know, when you are thinking about doing a bit of meditation. Or you're doing a bit of inner reflection in order to gain some form of semblance in terms of who you are and how you feel as a person. And that's lovely. So the focus for the last two weeks in September will be on achieving that balance and that semblance of who you are, how you feel, uh, making those adjustments. Maybe if you drink too much, you eat too much, it's a card about moderating those things. So it really it's about things, all things in moderation. And you guys might be looking to moderate certain areas of your life. The influences or your challenge is the Queen of Cups. So we know the influences are with this Queen of Cups energy. It's something to do with your emotions, okay? Your challenge is possibly being too emotionally invested in a situation as well because that's what the Queen of Cups is in a challenge position. And it's how you stop being so emotionally invested. She's a beautiful card. I'm a Queen of Cups myself. I'm a Scorpio. And I know that certainly, Virgo, whenever I go through a period within my life that's difficult, she is who I become, because I do a lot of inner reflection on who I am emotionally wise. I will do an awful lot of inner reflection. And But when she's in a challenge position, you're doing a little bit too much. You're too emotionally invested in something. And what you need to do is kind of become a little bit um, to desensitize yourself a little bit more from a situation when she's your challenge. So your challenge is the Queen of Cups. And she can be the type of lady who is a bit too emotional or she's too emotionally involved in a situation here, almost to the point of seclusion and almost to the point sometimes of being a little bit in victim mode. So you guys here is the Queen of Cups in your challenge position. It might be a water sign around you that she challenged, Scorpio, Cancer, Pisces. might be a highly individual, highly emotional individual that she challenged as well with this Queen of Cups. This person might not be able to see a situation from a logical a standpoint she might only see things in an emotional way so that might be somebody around you that does that but if it's your energy that's the influences stroke challenge position this is how you moderate and it might be why the focus is on moderating this energy here because in your foundation it's about love again okay page of cups is for some of you guys it might be uh, a, a child for example uh it might be a career path, a creative path that you're looking to. It might be studying, for example, here. But the Page of Cups really is about becoming more emotionally in tune with who we are and also using one's intuition. It effectively, is a card that says you need to grow up around a situation. And the foundation, yeah, it could be about love. Page of Cups is where love is being expressed. It could be about communication. It could be about a creative path, becoming a student, for example. It could be about a child, for example, with this Page of Cups energy. As a result of that, we've got happiness, though. You guys have experienced this four of wands, so this is usually the card that talks about the initial success of a plan, for example. So if you were looking to, for example, uh, it's an event card as well, so this is about socialising with others. It's about feeling stable, happiness. We do have this energy here of the Page of Cups in your foundation area, all right? And that can be anything children, as I've said, romance, as I've said, communication, nice communication. But you guys seem to, as a result, if this is something around the home, family, friends, uh, initial success maybe in terms of a plan, 
that you've set out on. The most likely outcome is the world in the reverse. So the world in the reverse often shows up when something is not completing a cycle here. So you're looking to moderate something here with the temperance energy, but you've got as a result of that the most likely outcome being that something is not finished here or something is not completed. But it's because of the foundation, the page of cups is in your foundation here. So I'm guessing that this is something about how you're looking at something here in the foundation. The page of cups is also what we know to be a fantasist so this is somebody who looks with childlike or you know childlike or it looks through the eyes of a child so it might be in your foundation there's something quite immature about a situation here but i think that you're trying to create some form of balance around this energy here whether it's love whether it's you whether it's a child whatever it is there's something that you're trying to moderate here you're trying to bring something into balance but it's not finished because you've got the world in the reverse so something's not completing its cycle here the immediate future, you guys, well, there's a lot of hard work and effort and focus and planning that you guys are going to have to face because you've got the Eight of Pentacles showing up. You guys right now are the Eight of Swords, which is nice. You're coming out of a place, apparently, with the Eight of Swords of Confusion. And you're letting go of some form of a bondage here. But I feel that in the energy off the page of cups, it might be the foundation is telling me that you guys are actually looking at something in an unrealistic way. You've been feeling happy about it, but your challenge is the Queen of Cups. About This is something that you're very emotionally invested in. And for me, you've been trying to create balance, um, make something work with this temperance energy here. But it's not coming to fruition because you've got the world card in the reverse. There's a lot more work that's going to need to be done here, Virgo. Okay, Because what's coming in is the devil, and this represents burdens all right, that you guys might be facing coming in with the devil energy. And it might also be that if you are here and you're coming out of a place, you're letting go of some form of bondage in your foundation, it's about something creative or maybe you're being quite, um, uh, what's the word with the page of cups, maybe you're being a little bit overly ambitious here. Into, but it's, a, it's, a, it's more like a dreamlike state. It's more like a fantasy. And you've experienced this four of wands here, feeling happy, feeling kind of a sense of contentment around this, whether it's in a relationship, the home, whatever it is. Your challenge is not to be too emotionally or not to look at this in, in so much of an emotional way, but maybe to be more practical. Because as a result of that, the focus is on making whatever this is work with the temperance energy it's not going to come to fruition just yet because here what we've got is you guys needing to put more work and effort in and you might just experience with this devil energy it's either going to be a sense of burden or a sense of going back to whatever this would have been in the upright potentially hopes or fears while the three of wands it might be within your hopes with this three of wands is that your ships will come in quicker than you you know then quicker than you then 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 things are actually transpiring it might be as a fear that there's a waiting time waiting for whatever it is that you're putting in here to come back to you because this is the card of working towards a goal and when you work towards that goal with that three of wands it's waiting to see whether that goal pays off the outcome shows the knight of cups in the reverse so things aren't ready to come through just yet all right, because you've got the nine of cups, you've got the world as the most likely outcome, which in the reverse, which means that things don't reach their full cycle or their fullest potential as yet. And then you've got the overall outcome being this nine of cups in the reverse, which means that things aren't coming to you. Okay, this is when you get it in the upright, it means invitations and things are being offered. But in the reverse, it means things aren't quite ready to come to you just yet. Okay, if we looked across the board, we could see in the recent past there's been some happiness here. St feeling stable, feeling happy, feeling a sense of completion, Virgo. It goes over to your challenge being emotionally invested, though. There's too much emotion being put into this situation here in your challenge position. And it's saying that in the immediate future, actually, there's more work. So you're going to have to, instead of doing this, maybe you guys are dreaming a little bit too much with that Queen of Cups in the, revert, in the, in the challenge position. Man, there's too much dreaminess going on here. And what this is saying is in the immediate future, there's going to be a lot more work that you guys are going to need to apply to this situation here. And also here, going from the bottom, the root energy is about some form of idealism because that's what the Page of Cups is. So in your foundation, I think that you guys are idealizing something here. And you're trying to put it together around the last two weeks of September. But it's saying that this will not be achieved. So we can see here... There's a lot of water energy going on, and the water energy doesn't just mean love. It means also when you're idealizing something, when you're fan a lot of stuff is based on the fantasy, okay? But the reality is the Eight of Cups, and the reality is the, the world energy. Here, there's a, a great sense of joy 
and excitement with this four of wands however your challenge is not to sort of fantasize too much or to dream too much or to put everything into fantasy mode around whatever this thing is because there's a lot more work that you guys need to do here the page of cups is saying again there's a certain idealism going on in your foundation in which the temperance card means that you know as a result of this idealism you're trying to put whatever this thing is together but that it's not going to come to fruition with the world card in the reverse and that's because there's a lot more hard work that you've got the pentacle card which shows a lot more practical application and planning that needs to be put forward in this situation let's get some clarifiers on the go why are virgo the eight of swords in the reverse why are virgo the eight of swords in the reverse in the first two weeks in the last two weeks sorry september show me well because of the page of pentacles so some of you guys it might be when you get the page of pentacles this is a study card okay so you're coming out of a period of um isolation with the eight of swords bondage feeling uh, restrictions within your lives some of you guys are coming out of that you're showing us the eight of swords in the reverse because of the page of pentacles there might be something that you want to invest in here all right you might want to put money into it for example with that page of pentacles you might be looking to put down a down payment on something with the page of pentacles you might have been studying it you might have been looking into it you might have been what you know reading the finer details of the situation here might be also be because you've received some cash why is the foundation the page of cups for Virgo why is the foundation the page of cups for Virgo well because of the seven of cups so I think that you are doing some fantasizing here because the seven of cups means that you're putting things on a cloud it often means that I don't think that this is confusion or even choices I feel that this is more a mirage because if you looked at both cards together if you can't work out what one card means by the other you'd look at both cards and you say well what's the similarity well both cards represent an idealistic nature all right because the seven of cups means to put things on a cloud and it means to look at things in a very fantastical way and so does the page of cups it's where you're idealizing something it's where you're daydreaming so both cards mean daydreaming i think in your foundation a lot of water energy there's a sense of doing a lot of fantasizing here and kind of idealizing something here with these energies in the recent past you guys have experienced the four of wands why has virgo experienced the four of wands in the recent past show me well because of the nine of cups in the reverse so the nine of cups means that something hasn't been achieved so the four of wands it might be um because it's because of this card here and you've got this four here so i think with the four of wands this is more about i don't know whether this is about feeling because you wouldn't feel joy over something not being achieved here all right so this is something else you've experienced the four of wands in the upright though this is and this is a card about prosperity all right so it might be that there has been some form of initial success on something here because it might be with this nine of cups something before wasn't achieved with this nine of cups here I don't know whether this is a false happiness or whatever it is. I'm still getting the idea of idealization going on here with you guys. Your challenge is the Queen of Cups. Why is the Queen of Cups um, the challenge for Virgo? Because of the Queen of Pentacles reverse. So I think that you are... Um, We've got two queens, one in the upright, one reversed. And the queen of pentacles in the reverse often means that you are not looking at the finer details of something here. All right, in the upright, she's somebody who pays a lot of attention to something here. But this is a card about somebody who turns situations around and it's all about them. And you've got this queen of cups as your challenge because of the queen of pentacles. I think there's something here that you're not seeing. Or there's something here in terms of a practical nature or even being using your common sense that you're not seeing because i think with the queen of pentacles in the reverse you're not really using your common sense you're not looking into the finer details of something and it might be because of that you're focusing more on what the dream is rather than the functionality of whatever this thing is and as a result of that temperance is the uh, energy around you for the last two weeks in september let's see why because of the lovers okay so the lovers card is uh, a card about relationships friendships it's also a card about choices that we make i don't think that this is a choice i think this is some form of um um partnership or relationship or something like that with this lover's energy it might be a gemini individual but you're trying to kind of make something work here because of the lovers and i think that this is either something that you love lovers doesn't always have to be partnerships or relationships or choices it can literally be Say, for example, a project that you love or a piece of furniture that you love. I think that you're trying to make something work because you're in love with the idea 
off the situation or off whatever that thing is. The most likely outcome will be the world energy. And let's have a look at why the most likely outcome is the world for Virgo in the reverse. Because of the four of pentacles. And I feel that the most likely outcome with the world is that something is not complete here. All right, something has not reached its fullest potential or even its conclusion. You're not tying something up here because of the Four of Pentacles. It could be, um, Virgo, that this is you, the Four of Pentacles, and this is you kind of holding back on something here. All right, maybe you have a change of mind on this situation because what I'm seeing is a lot of free-moving energy here going on with you guys, and then what I see is something's not concluded here because somebody... Uh, is refusing some form of a change you'd get the four of pentacles it either means control possession or it means not wanting to change all right so it might be that something is not working here or something doesn't reach its fullest potential it could be because of financial situation with that four of pentacles because it means to possess and hold on to your gain or hold on to what you've got it can mean that because you're trying to control something or it could simply mean that you reluctant to kind of finalize something here okay because i'm just getting just a load of free moving energy here a lot of it but it's almost like i feel that you come to your senses here if this isn't a person around you then this is what you're doing virgo it's almost like you come to your senses something doesn't reach its fullest potential or its conclusion or its natural cycle of ending into a new beginning it's still very open here Whatever it is that you guys are doing, it's not reaching its fullest potential here. It's not closing itself off with the world card. There's no achievement with that world card in the reverse because it's either something to do with your finances with the Four of Pentacles. Maybe you're holding on to your finances here, especially if you're coming out of place of difficulty because you've received some finances here. It might be that the foundation is, is that you've got a sort of a choices to make and also an idealism of where you go, where you take that. Might be some of you guys have invested in something here with the Four of Wands because there's a lack of happiness or there's a lack of achievement in other areas of your life. But your challenge is you're looking too idealistically at something here with that Queen of Cups showing up as your challenge position because of the Queen of Pentacles. And you've got no, some of you guys might not have any common sense on how to manage a situation here. You'll want to, the energies will be around bringing something into balance here because i think it's something that you love or it's something to do with relationships could be maybe a choice but you've got this thing doesn't happen with that world in the reverse something is not finalized here could be because of the money that you hold on to especially as i said if you received money here or it could be because you're reluctant to make some form of a change you kind of change your mind. i get the intent i get the overall impression that you change your mind on a situation here virgo coming in there's a lot more hard work and planning and appliance and studying to do and let's have a look why that is with the eight of pentacles well because of the magician all right um i think that there is uh, a lot more planning and hard work to do on whatever this thing is. And I think you recognize this because the most likely outcome is you don't do something here. You're either holding back, it's either finances or you've got some... Either way, you've had a change of mind on a situation here. I think there's a lot more hard work and planning that goes into this situation in the immediate future because of the magician. It might be because um, the magician means to control... But it also means when you are um, creating something new and it might be that there's a lot more hard work and application that's needed because with the magician energy, this is taking an idea and it's making it happen in the right way. It might also be that there is um, a lot more hard work and appliance to do, a lot more studying to do because of the magician. It might be some form of communication you guys have had. Magician can also represent a Virgo individual too. So this could be because of you, because you are trying to control. I don't think it's a lack of confidence because the magician is not in the reverse. And I don't think it's even a lack of not wanting to do whatever this thing is, Virgo, because you're not interested. I think it's just that you've got the potential to make things happen, but you want to act maybe in the right way. Uh, you'll experience the devil coming in. Why is the devil coming in for Virgo? Okay, because of the Ten of Swords. All right, so you're going to be experiencing burdens here with this Ten of Swords, with the Devil energy. All right, it could be somebody around you is the Devil because they do something to you with that Ten of Swords. But it could also be <clears throat> you experience some form of restriction or burdens. You also experience fear, I feel, with this Devil energy. It might be that you've got a lot of, with this Ten of Swords, a lot of mental pressures going on around whatever this situation is. 
Your hopes will be the Three of Wands. Why is Virgo's hopes the Three of Wands? Show me. Well, because of the Empress. What you want to do is you want to... Um, your hopes are to have... To have some form of reward come to you because of the Empress energy. Okay? This is what you've developed. This is either creative expression or the development of something here or something that you've been putting your work, your hard work and effort into with that Three of Wands. You are expecting some form of reward to come back to you because of the Empress. And the Empress is a card about fruition and blossoming and uh, prosperity and abundance. So it might be that you've created something and now you're hoping that things are going to start sprouting some form of rewards. The outcome shows the Knight of Cups in the reverse. Why is the Knight of Cups in the reverse for Virgo in the outcome? Because of the High Priestess in the reverse. I think that this is more about your um, what you're doing, Virgo, because you've got two reversals here, and the High Priestess in the reverse means you don't know enough. It means confusion, or it means that somebody is lacking intuition, and I feel that this is you guys, I feel, with this Knight of Cups in the reverse. You're not willing to put something out there because you don't know enough yet with this High Priestess. There's a clouded vision or there's a clouded intuition on whatever this thing is. And we can see the devil in the river, in the upright as what you'll experience. And that is often when you are restricted by your fears because of the Ten of Swords. I think you've got a lot of mental pressures around what this situation is. And as a result of that, I think that you guys don't go out and explore and follow your heart or give off yourself in some form of capacity to others, whether it's in a business idea that you've got that you want to show to others, whatever. Because I think this high priestess in the reverse is really saying, you know, you don't really have that strong intuition that now is the right time to do this. There's a, there's a certain cloudiness to whatever it is that you're doing. And it's interesting because, you know, we'll go through the reading very quickly again. You guys... You've come out of a period of difficulty here. You're showing us coming out of a period of difficulty because you're the Eight of Swords reversed. It could be because you've had some form of an offer or you've had some money come through with the Page of Pentacles or you've been exploring or studying something here that you're interested in with that Page of Pentacles. It might be something to do with a startup business, that type of thing. I think the foundation is you've got a lot of kind of idealistic expectations with that page of cups and the seven of cups so i think that you're idealizing where this could go what what this could be what you could do but you haven't really got the foundations right because cups don't represent a strong foundation they represent wishful thinking dreaminess they represent you know uh uh, fantasy that type of thing I'm getting the impression that in your foundation a lot of this is you guys fantasizing about something here as a result of that uh, I don't know whether you guys have invested in anything here with this four of wands energy because four of wands can say that you've had initial success because of the nine of cups in the reverse something else in your life did not work through or some of you guys might simply be unhappy you know in your lives for one reason or another so you might have made a purchase or you might have done something just off the bat because of this nine of cups and i don't like those energies together i don't like it that you've done something here you've experienced something here because it's on the basis of not being happy about something within your lives with that nine of cups in the reverse okay the nine of cups in the reverse represents a lack of achievement or wishes not coming true or something not reaching it at full potential it represents dissatisfaction so it's almost like you've done something here you've experienced the four of wands because of some form of dissatisfaction some of you guys it might be that you went to visit a, a house for example that you want to purchase because it might be with the nine of cups you're dissatisfied we can see that you're coming out of this element here However, your challenge is not to be too emotionally involved in this because you haven't got the full details yet. You've not even explored properly on a practical, financial, detailed level, whatever it is, what this thing is. A lot of this is very self-involved energy showing as your challenge here. And you're not looking clearly or practically at what this situation is because your energies will be about kind of reaching some form of culmination or um you know balancing something out balancing out an energy because it might be to do with something that you love with that lover's energy all right so it's purely based on but I, I get the impression when i look at the reading that you guys want to get yourself out of one hole but you could be getting yourself into another because what you're doing is you're cutting out 
really looking at the situation in a very practical way. It's almost like you want to rush into something here because you've got this dream state that it's going to all work out fine because it's the fantasy that tells you that, but you're not looking at things in a very practical way. The good thing is most likely you will do because whatever this thing is that you guys are investing in or looking to do, it's not going to come to fruition with that world card in the reverse because you guys are either hold on to your pennies or you're reluctant to kind of make a move in this situation. All right, you're being very responsible, I feel, with this Four of Pentacles upright. You guys recognize the need for hard work and application and more study because of the magician. There's definitely something here that you want to start, and the magician can represent Gemini or Virgo. So you definitely want to start something here, but you realize that this is, and it's good because you've come back to Earth here, you really have in this reading in the last two weeks of September and there's the recognition that more work, hard work has to be applied because you want to make a success of this with the magician. You want to do this in the right way. You have all of the tools to do it but you, there's more need for application because of that magician in the upright and the magician in the upright is where we take an idea and we start to manifest it. But before you do that you recognize that you can't sort of jump from here to here to here. Because it makes no sense, which is why you guys seem to stop yourself at this area here. And you recognize there is more work that's needed with that Eight of Pentacles there. Because of the Magician. You recognize that this is a big idea. This is a big thing for some of you guys that you're actually going to be doing. You will experience fear with this Devil card. Because there's a lot to think about with that Ten of Swords. And I think that you represent, you, you recognize. Uh, and if the Magician is a person, it's what somebody's telling you. Somebody who's possibly got more knowledge than you on this situation. And I think that you experience restrictions with this devil card. Fear with this devil card. And why is that? Because what you didn't recognize, Virgo, is that this would take a lot longer. And this would be more involved. It wasn't going to happen snap, snap, snap. And I think you guys thought something was going to happen real quick. It only took self-belief. But self-belief in a cup card is a bad thing. Especially when it's the Seven of Cups and the Page of Cups. It's nice to have the vision and it's nice to have the um, creative ideas and it's nice to have the fantasy. Everybody needs a fantasy and a dream to hold on to, to work towards. But when you've got real, you know, flippant water energies like this, it's kind of like it's just a little bit too much. And nothing's grounded in reality and the found your foundation, you're not grounded in reality. But you thought you'd do something. And I'm getting the sense that you're doing something here because of some form of needing to move out of a situation that's less than satisfactory at the moment. Okay, for some of you guys. And I'm getting the impression that you want to move out of that energy. Because you're not happy with it. You're scared. There's some form of fear going on with you guys. And hence why your challenge is not to be so uh, so emotionally invested because of the Queen of Pentacles in the reverse. Maybe you're emotionally invested because with this Queen of Pentacles in the reverse, it's about feeling a sense of not... Uh, feeling secure or stable or maybe you're just not looking at the finer details of a situation i get the impression that you guys are going with the emotional and the fantastical rather than the reality and i think you get your reality here and here and you realize that something's not that easy with that devil card showing up here because of all of the hard work and all of the you know swords represent not just ideas but they represent action so the Ten of Swords here, you, don't, you experience the fear here and the restrictions here because of that Ten of Swords. And the Ten of Swords is saying, shit, this is too much. This is just too much. Because your hopes are, well, I hope with this Three of Wands. Some of you guys, it might be the hopes are that you're, you know, to look towards, to have come in this Empress energy, abundance, possibly a new home, possibly something to do with comfort. But the outcome is you guys with this Knight of Cups don't follow through on something here with the Knight of Cups reverse because you just don't know enough about it just yet. Okay? So it's about taking the time. It's due diligence. And most of all, I think in this reading, Virgo, it's about having patience because patience is really required from you guys at this time. You can go with a dream and that's great, but you need to build on that dream through practicality and through hard work and through force of action. Yeah? Yeah? To jump from one thing to another because either you've got the resources or you've studied something or you've found an idea and on the on the on the uh, you know on the surface it all looks very very good, 
But the problem is, is that have you done enough research? And I think more research. I think when some of you guys realise that there's more to it, these two cards, more to it than you actually thought there was going to be, you're kind of like, shit, actually, better not. I want this, but at the moment, the overall outcome is I'm not going to do it. I'm not going to follow through with this Knight of Cuts because I don't know enough. I don't know. It's not even that your intuition, because you're it's not in the upright. It's not that you don't follow through because your intuition doesn't tell you to. It's because of the high priestess in the reverse. Now, the high priestess could be you don't follow through because somebody tells you something here with the high priestess. High priestess in the reverse represents knowledge that is being made available to you. So it could be because knowledge is being made available to you. But it could also be that with the high priestess, you've got very clouded judgment. You're just not sure. Let's get your... Um, oh, where have I put my... Angel answers. Ugh. Right, so let's have a look at what your angel answers are saying to you guys. Universe spirit, what is the advice that you have for Virgo in this reading? What is the advice that you have for Virgo in this reading? Show me. Well, it's saying you're ready. That's what it's saying. Why is Virgo ready? Why is Virgo ready? Because there'll be abundance. So it's saying you're ready. Now, according to my reading, but I'm just seeing what you guys are doing. But the angels are saying you're ready because there could be abundance in this situation. And abundance will bring recovery. It's saying you're ready because abundance will bring recovery. All right. Angels, I'm not disagreeing with you. They might be ready because abundance will bring recovery. I understand that, angels. But sorry, I often speak to my angels. But I think that there's still more work. I think that, I think that what they're trying to say is is to say to you Virgo is that you are ready but my reading is saying yes you are ready because you've come out of this you're the eight of swords reverse and that's always a nice place to be but still there is more need for study for learning in whatever this situation is there is more need to have a bit of patience you might be ready but we're all ready for a lot of things but it doesn't mean that it's the right time to pursue it especially if you're going with a fantasy rather than a reality okay that is your reading, Virgo, for the last two weeks of September. I would like to say thanks ever so much for joining me on Carol's Universe. And I'll speak to you guys again in October. I've got a, some really good readings coming up for you guys. Some um, bonus readings. You've got your Love Celtic Cross bonus reading, number one. And you've got How She or He Feels About You bonus reading, number two, coming up for October as well. Along with lots of other things. You've got a live spread that's coming out for you guys for the next six months. Just a hell of a lot of stuff for the channel in October. It's really just to say thank you to everyone for joining me and for giving my website and me so much support. So just um, look out for those readings and I'll speak to you guys soon. Take care.